What's up y'all? This is your boy Scotty and this is my review on The Real Housewives of Miami Episode 1 and 2 Season 2. Um, I did not do um, a review on Episode 1 last week because um, I'm not really used to doing reality show reviews on the weekend. I'm used to, I'm used to putting my, my testimony videos or my perspective videos out on a damn Sunday, I mean on a Friday. So, you know, I'm not really used to that. And I didn't want to just wait till Monday to do it. And, you know, it is what it is. But, um, I didn't really watch the Miami Housewives, their first season. I did see the first two episodes and I thought it was draining and I thought it was boring and I couldn't sit through it no more. So, after I seen the trailer, um, um, this past month of, you know, this season, you know, it looked like it was going to be great, and I, I really knew that I was going to watch when I seen somebody get their ass slapped in the face. And y'all know that I'm really here for the violence. So, um, you know, that, that alone really made me want to watch the show. And I'm like, wow, Bravo got a damn cat fight. Like, I ain't never really seen, you know, no cat fights going on a Real Housewives franchise. You know, I've seen some shit with... You know, maybe a drink being thrown when Tamara threw that drink at Gina on the um, Housewives of Orange County. But I ain't never really seen no cat fight like that. Or when Sheree pulled Kim weed. But it's just seeing somebody slap somebody in their face. I ain't never seen no shit like that on Bravo. So, you know, I was like, well, these bitches trying to get it cracking. So, you know what I'm saying? They they getting right to the shit. But what I'm noticing is, and I saw this on the Beehive um, message board, and I really didn't um, pay attention to it before I seen it. And I see what Bravo doing. I think they got a um, got a, a show on a Housewives franchise for each race. Like this Miami season is full of Latinos. The um, New Jersey and New York City um, see, um, seasons are full of car, are, are full of Caucasians. Um, the New Jersey no. New York City and Orange County is with, with the Caucasians. The New Jersey is with the Italians. And Atlanta is with the African Americans. And that's what it look like. They're, you know, that's how it looks, you know, right now. And, you know, I can't really be mad at that. But I kind of wish that they had another black cast. I think they should have revamped the Real Housewives of D.C. Just like they revamped um, Miami and had D.C. as an all-black cast, too. You know what I'm saying? But, you know... It's Bravo, so I'm not complaining. It is what it is. And I've seen the trailer for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I think I will be reviewing that. It just depends on how I feel. And the um, promo picture for The Real Housewives of Atlanta came out, but no promo came out. So, I'll be, I'll be waiting for that. Is this, is this show still on? Oh. But, yeah. I'll be waiting on that. Now, for episode one, um... The only thing I, cause I did not take any notes, so I'm just going by what I remember. Um, only thing I'm gonna do for season, for episode one, is just basically talk about the characters and what I feel about them. Um, Martha, I don't really like her. Um, I think it's not because she's a bad person. I just think that she's boring. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's the only thing I really don't like about her. The only time I really um enjoy her scenes is when she's with her mama. And, you know, speaking of her mama, Elsa, what is going on with her face? Is it, was that, um, plastic surgery that went wrong or something? That's not even me joking. That's just me being serious. Like, what the hell happened to Elsa's face? I really want to know that because that, that shit look horrible. That shit look like a pumpkin pie or some shit. That shit look horrible. But other than that, I mean, she's kind of like the big Ange of the show. You know, big Ange was looking a mess with that, um, plastic surgery, but she was different. She talked like a man. And Elsa, you can't really understand most of the shit she be saying unless you got some subtitles on so that makes you like her even more because she's such a different character than everybody else so Martha is only entertaining when she's with her mama and it looks like they're trying to make her the queen bitch of the show and she's so boring so um let's see Anna I don't really have a problem with Anna I think I like Anna I think she's kind of cool and I think she about her business and you know I like her Joanna I think that Joanna is very outspoken she's very pretty especially in the confessional she looks like a Barbie doll like she's and she's kind of hilarious too so I like her I think you know that was one of the first ones that I that um that I gravitated towards when I first started watching Miami was Joanna um let's see 
hold on, yeah, I'll somebody send me a message on Facebook. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me answer this right quick. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that was the first one I gravitated towards was Joanna Lisa. I don't know. She gives me that conceited feel. Um, she's plastic as fuck, and I really don't know how old she is. But, in a way, she seems like she seems like she's funny after what I've seen in the second episode she seems kind of funny so I'm gonna give her a chance I really don't have no opinion on her but I'm gonna give her a chance Leah don't like the bitch she's very very rude and very stuck up don't like the bitch at all and I really didn't like how she was treating Lisa when they was at that party um Karen I don't like that bitch um I just I'm not really feeling her um at all um I said Marissa Adriana, she looks like she's going to be the feisty one of the show and I kind of liked her because she's the one that did the slapping and I seen their little reunion on what Watch What Happens Live for the first season and she was the main one going in on people and you know I like bitches that go in. So I think my opinion on Adriana is probably going to change at some point because of this last episode um, but um, you know what I'm saying. It is what it is, so I'm going to tell y'all why my opinion going to change in a minute. So I said Marcel, I said Lisa, I said Anna, I said Karen, I said Adriana, I said Joanna. I hope I ain't missing nobody. I really hope I ain't missing nobody. And if I did miss somebody, that's my bad, but I hope I ain't missing nobody. I'm going to say their name one more time. Marcel, Karen, Joanna... Anna. Damn, I forgot their names all over again. Let me do it one more time, y'all. Lisa, Anna, Adriana, jo uh, uh, Joanna, um, Karen, fuck it, Marsha, Mama Elsa. I think that's it, though. Oh, and Leah. No wonder I forgot about her. I don't like the bitch. No wonder I forgot about her. So that's all I really got to say about um, the first episode. Like that's all I was going to do for the first episode anyway was go through the um, characters and just tell y'all what I liked about them. Now moving on to the episode that came on last night. Um, Joanna and her husband Roman have not been having sex and I'm really surprised. They look like the type of couple that will be fucking like fucking rabbits. But you know you never know. So um, it's some type of weird sexual tension between Joanna sister and and her husband like her sister walked in on her husband while he was stepping in the tub and it seemed like he was flirting with her or whatever and maybe that's the reason why y'all ain't having sex because hell it look like your husband and your sister been fucking that's what it seemed like is there is too much sexual tension in the air for that and another thing that made me like joanna um a lot is when her and roman went out to dinner and they were talking about marriage and she basically let him know that either we get married or we break up. Basically, like, she really just put it on out there. And I really appreciate a bitch that's really forward with her shit. Um, Adriana, she wants to live on a boat. She thinks that it's going to be romantic for her to live on a damn boat. I ain't never heard no shit like that. Either you have a house and you just have a boat for the time being. But just living on a boat? No, nah, I pass on it. And y'all already in Miami. Hurricanes is easy to get their ass down there. So where the fuck you gonna go? You living on a damn water, bitch. I mean, come on. So, you know, I really didn't understand that. And then, you know, Lisa asked her about her wedding ring. I mean, her engagement ring. Why she don't wear it? And I'm sitting up here like, girl, if you don't want to wear your engagement ring, then why the fuck are you even engaged? You know, and then... Turns out when she went to go see Elsa, Elsa basically told her that um, she feels like she's in love, but she's not that much in love with the man that she with, which is true. That's why she don't want to wear no damn engagement ring, because she, she loves him, but she's not in love with him. And that basically makes a lot of sense. Lisa, her husband, works on folks' titties, and 
I think that Lisa's very insecure about her husband working with titties. And how long has her husband working with titties now? And she all insecure? That's just for show. But um, that's the only thing that was annoying me with her. Like, you know your man be working on titties anyway. So why do you give a fuck about the pictures that's on his wall or whatever? Like, those are the people that he came that came to him. And that's work that he did, you know. So why the fuck are you being, like, so fucking insecure about yourself? I don't understand that. Um... Karen, she's dumb as fuck. I really do think that she's dumb as hell. Um, her husband is a soap opera actor, and it's obvious that, you know, he's cheating on her. I mean, I just think they, that he is. They already have a long distance relationship. And then to top it all off, um, Adriana started all that bullshit at that little social gathering that they had about um, Karen's boyfriend texting Anna and Facebooking her or whatever. Now, I don't know what to say about Anna. I mean, Anna, you got a man and you get a divorce from another man, so why the fuck are you texting somebody else's man? But then again, Karen, why is your man texting another woman? I mean, why do you think that, you know, in a way that you came for Anna, like, oh, you know, I, I, I appreciate my husband having fans and all that. It's not even about that, bitch. Um, he been texting her and he been Facebooking her. She ain't been Facebooking him. Like, it's, it's like, who really gives a fuck about the text situation? You know what I'm saying? If you really want to know the deal, why don't you go ask your man? Why are you asking the girl? You know what I'm saying? So it looked like this, this Anna and Karen shit's been to pop out and it all got started by Adriana. And I really don't understand why she was so adamant about keeping up all that mess. But it worked for the show either way it go. Um, Leah don't really like she didn't really do much um on this episode but um i really don't care i just don't like leah she's very fucking rude and she is very rude to lisa i don't know why she's so damn rude to lisa but she is i don't understand it at all um marcel um her scenes well elsa was pretty funny when elsa walked into the office and you know sprinkled everybody with rice krispies or whatever that shit was and all that because you feel like it was negative energy in the air. So that shit was very funny. But all in all, I, th I think those are the main points of the Real Housewives of Miami that I really want to talk about. And I really um, think that this shit is going to be off the chain. I honestly do. Um, I was really enjoying it. And, um, you know, I hope that, you know, I hope that I continue to watch it. You know, because you know how I do. When I don't like something, I end up not doing no, no more reviews on it. So, it is what it is. So, um, I have a lot to talk about regarding Real Housewives of New Jersey and NYC. But those are going to be saved for my perspective video as well as Big Brother. All I'm going to say is Team N. That's all I got to say. I'm glad his ass won. So, it is what it is. So, that is my review on the Real Housewives of Miami episode 1 and 2. Make sure y'all... You know, rate, like, subscribe, comment, tell a friend about me, spread the word about me, follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash Mr. Underscore Steel Standing with that G. Email me at xscotty for at Mr. Steel Standing with the G at yahoo.com and follow me on Instagram at king of the south 23 at Instagram. And that's all I got to say, you guys. I'm out of here. Peace.